say that, man. The day of the Lord, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. That's why the Lord's reputation is Allah Shadi, a terrible demon like power. Because when he destroys empires, he puts fear on everybody's hearts, man. For generations to come. And that's what's gonna happen to America, man. You know, the God of the Bible, you you, you, you people that say you believe in the Bible, I just don't know the Bible, man. You don't know what the Lord you don't know the, the characteristics of the Heavenly Father. Don't you know the most high is so mad? That's the spirit. <laughs> Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. So the Lord's going to destroy America, man. By way of thermonuclear missile, that's why you hear all these uh, talks of third world's war. For lo, I will command, I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sift in the sieve. Yet shall not the least of the grain, shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Amos five and eighteen. What want you that desire the day of the Lord? For what and is it for what and is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Now that solar eclipse represents darkness. It's actually a dark circle that's gonna start in August 2017 from Salem, Oregon, and stop at Columbia, South Carolina. And then there's gonna be another one, 2024, little one we got here before that. That other cross. Basically, both together, that other solar eclipse in 2024, it's basically going to cause a giant X in America, man. You know, it's a celestial event. Astrological celestial event, man. As if a man did flee from lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned and lean, and lean his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not, the day of the, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it. That solar eclipse, man. That solar eclipse. And this, this destruction is gonna be uh it's gonna be a uh, major, man. So by X marks the spot. You know, X means to cross out. Like the brother said earlier, man. Hey man, that's the destruction that's coming. That's the destruction that's coming, man. That's coming to America. If you don't want to believe it, that's on you, man. You're going to see it. Revelations 18 and 6. 6. Reward her. I'm going to start at 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God remember her iniquities. And the Lord has remembered her iniquities. That's why he's given us signs, the Illuminati, the awakened ones, what he's about to do, which is to destroy America. It shall be seed size in the heavens. Look up the redemption is nigh. This destruction is coming, man. And we fear the Lord. And we know what we're about to do because he warned us, man. Through the spirit, through the prophecies, man. The scriptures, man. Reward her even as she rewarded you and, and double unto her works according to her works. And double according to her works. And the cup which she had filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and I am no widow. I shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong the Lord, for strong is the Lord who judge of her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall beware her and lament for her. When they shall see the smoke of her burning. Because America is going to be burnt up. And the kings of the earth who have Committed fornication and live deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her. And when they shall see the smoke of a burning, America will be literally burnt up. And there's a lot of oil reserves in America, man. So I should say it's going to burn forever. The people from the Eastern Hemisphere, they're going to see this shit, man. They're going to see America inflamed. Stand, standing afar off of the fear of the torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, the mighty city, for one hour is thy judgment comes, can take 60 minutes. For America to be destroyed. That's why you have the spirit of the submarines being uh, um, Russian submarines in, in Delaware and Connecticut. In the coast of America, man. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth the merchandise anymore. The merchant, merchandise of gold and of silver and precious stones and of pearls. Fine and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and, and thynin and thine wood. And all manners of vessels and ivory and all manners of vessels of, of morse. Precious wood and of brass and of iron and marble and cinnamon and orders and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat 
and beasts and sheep and horses, chariots, slaves, and souls of men. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. And all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more at all. Because America imports, man. America don't make no products anyway. That's another way America is going to be destroyed too, man. That's another reason it's going to be destroyed too. Because this is consuming. It's consuming, consuming, consuming. You know, everything here is, is, is foreign based from a different country imported to America, man. And the fruits of thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all the and all things which were dainty and goodly, got, goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find no more find them no more at all. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off of the fear of a torment, weeping and wailing. All these countries that got rich off America, making business with America, they're gonna be like, damn, no more money. I ain't gonna make no money in that goddamn place, man. When they see America inflamed. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, thy great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones. For in one hour so great riches has come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors, and as many as trade by sea stood afar off. It's gonna be a great destruction, man. And cried when they saw the smoke of a burning, saying that what city is like unto this great city. America when it's burnt up, man. By right? way of thermonuclear missile. That's why you have this talk of North Korea, Russia, Russia helping North Korea, North Korea ain't gonna shoot missiles on America. They say they don't give a fuck, they're gonna do a sixth nuke test. Japan, Japan seeking to get uh, South Korea seeking to get submarine subs, nuclear subs to counter North Korea. Japan getting scared, they're getting their nukes ready to come against North Korea. Iran saying they're with North Korea. You see, all this Russia said you fuck with Iran, you fuck with us. That's the whole, that's that's all biblical prophecies, man. And they cast their dust on their heads and cried and weeping and wailing. Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich, all that had ships in the sea by reason of the costliness. For one hour is she made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God have avenged you on her. You know? This place, this place is going to go down in, 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 a, in a very dramatic fashion. Very dramatic fashion. That's why the Most High is building up this Third World's War, man. For his word. Because the Lord said he's going to destroy America in one hour. And he's going to destroy America in one hour, 16 minutes. Not a second before. Not a second later. In one hour, America is going to be destroyed. In one hour. The Most High is perfect. Hey, the Terminator Genesis. Yeah, that's what the Lord's coming to do. He's coming to terminate America. In Genesis. Well, that's in the scriptures, man. Revelations 1 8. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Yeah, the beginning. Genesis, the Terminator, the destroyer of the Egyptians, and the destroyer of modern day Egypt, America. Modern day Egyptians, you Rothschilds, Elites, you Edomites. You're going to be terminated.